As Muslims all over the world face Qibla for prayers, so do all schools focus on Qibla schools to emulate beautiful innovations. Our nursery and primary schools enjoy good teaching aid facilities as our team of qualified and committed teachers. Leave no stone unturned, ranging from academics to moral and religious teachings. Qibla High School as well is a place to be with spacious playground, very conducive learning environment, library, ICT and indoor games rooms and not only well stocked but also equipped with state-of-the-art facilities our students perform brilliantly well at all external examinations as well as various core and extracurricular activities Kibla schools comprising of preparatory and high schools is at plot 225 Ibadon Southwest multipurpose scheme at Leshiloye Ibadon telephone 0805-272-5253 or 0803-313-2027 Kibla schools we set the pace ثم الصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين أما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته All praise and adoration is due to Allah سبحانه وتعالى The Lord of Uncomparable Majesty We thank Him, we adore Him We testify to His oneness that He has no associate, He has no partner He alone we worship and He alone we ask for help We also testify to the messengership of Prophet, the full Prophet Muhammad May the peace and benediction of Allah be upon his noble soul, his household, his companions, and the unity of Muslims to the day of accountability. You are welcome to your favorite program, Message from Qibla, sponsored by Qibla Schools, Alesh Loye Ibado. Today, inshallah, we shall be talking on Atawakul, that is absolute reliance upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Reliance upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is one of the fruits of Iman, that is, believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So if anyone believes in Allah correctly, and the way Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala should be believed, such a person will have the fruit of Iman. And one of the fruits of Iman is Adawakul, that is the reliance upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And what is encapsulated in reliance upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is that al isti'ana billah. If one needs help, one will seek help with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. One will seek assistance with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Not with any other person, not with any other deity, not with any other living soul, but with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah alone. The one we put his trust in Allah. So for someone to put his trust in Allah and Allah alone, he's showing that that person has absolute reliance upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The one will be fulfilling the obligations of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What Allah has commanded us to do, when we be doing it very well, and what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has disapproved for us to do when we move away from it. What the we do the amr Then when we leave his affairs in the hands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Well call for me no And it's only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala one will be fearful of. So these are the integral contents of Atawakul. That is reliance upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's not something that one can just be professing with the word of mouth. No. One cannot just be saying, I put my trust in Allah, except the actions and activities of such a person justify his claims. So if we are seeking help with Allah and Allah alone, and we put our trust in only Allah, 
we are fearful of only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we leave our fears in the hands of Allah alone for Allah to decide. Not that we be ready to influence the destiny that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has written for us. Or we try to influence what has not been destined for us. No. Let Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala decide your fears. So when you put your trust in Allah and you leave all your fears in the hand of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the decision of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to come to pass, then that is when you are having absolute reliance upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is what Islam teaches. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam taught Abdullah ibn Abbas radiallahu anhuma this atawakul, absolute reliance upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In one of the hadiths, it was reported that Abdullah ibn Abbas radiallahu anhu was behind the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam on a particular day. And the Prophet sallallahu told Abdullah ibn Abbas, that he had oh you boy, because Abdullah ibn Abbas was a boy then, he hasn't matured, that he had oh you boy, I will teach you some words. And the Prophet sallallahu began to teach him those words. The Prophet said, if Allah yahfaduk, Take care of Allah and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will take care of you in return. The meaning of this is that if one is conscious of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by observing his duties, that is the duties imposed on us as a servant, if one is observing it very well, one is observing it the way it should be observed, then it means you are taking care of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will take care of you. The Prophet was admonishing Abdullah ibn Abbas that if Allah tajidu utujahad, that take care of Allah, be conscious of Allah, then you will see Allah in your front. Allah will be with you at all time. Anytime you are in need of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be in your front. You will see him in your front. Either sa'alta fast Allah. Then when you are making a request, make a request from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Whether it's ta'azanta, fast in billah. And when you are seeking help, seek help with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wa'alam anna al-umma law ijtama'ati ala an yanfawka bishay'in lam yanfawka illa bishay'in qad kataba Allah lak. Then go and learn that if the whole nation or the whole world gather together to benefit you with something, they will not be able to benefit you with anything except with what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has written for you. And likewise, Then learn that if the whole world gathered together to arm you with something, they will not be able to arm you with anything except with something that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has written for you. Rufiat al-Aqlam wa Jafat al-Sawf. They have lifted up the pen, that is the pen used to write one's destiny, it has been lifted up. Then the pages on which this destiny is written, the pages are dried off. That is the book, the sheet is dried off. So there is nothing that will come to you in terms of favor, in terms of any predicament, except that thing has been written in your destiny, that that will happen to you at a point in time. So if you look at this beautiful message that the Prophet Sallam passed across to Abdullah ibn Abbas, and likewise to every one of us, is that we should rely upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah alone. So if we are conscious of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we are conscious of our duties to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will equally be conscious of us. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will take care of us. So if 
we are conscious of our duties to Allah, then any time we are in need of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we find Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in our presence. We find Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in our midst. And if we want to ask anything, we should always ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because it is only Allah that has what we are in need of. It's only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that can give us what we need, what we require. And we should also have it in mind that there is nobody that can benefit us. Even the whole world, when they gather together, suddenly to benefit us with something, they will not be able to benefit us with anything, except to thought Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has this thing. And likewise, if they gather to arm us with anything, they will not be able to arm us with anything except with something that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has destined for us. So this one is telling us that we should put our trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alayha alone. And in another riwaya, it was there that if Allah tajidu hamamak, that take care of Allah, you will find Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in your front. Ta'arrafu ila Allah fi raqa, ya'arfu ka fi shidda. Then, Know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when you are in comfort. That is when you are comfortable. Know Allah. Be conscious of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ya arifka shidda. When you are in a state of distress, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be conscious of you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will come to your rescue when you are in any calamity. Then go and know that whatever misses you has not been destined to be yours. And whatever comes your way in terms of calamity, in terms of catastrophe, that has not been destined to miss you. Imagine. So what comes our way, we should know that it is what Allah SWT has destined for us. Then what we are looking for or we want to grab and we are unable to grab it, we should just have it in mind that it has not been destined, that that thing will be ours, that thing will be our, our possessions. So by knowing this, it will assist us to put our trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us this in Surah Al-Furqan, Quran chapter 25, verse 58. We Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, rely upon the ever living who does not die. So we are to rely upon Allah. That is instruction. Rely upon the ever living who does not die. Who does not die? It's Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So it's Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that will not die. So we should rely on ever living who will not die. Instead of us to be relying on those that will die at any time. And that has been the description of the believers. That that the believers, they always put their trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They always rely in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala absolutely. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us this in Surah Al-Talaq, that is Quran chapter 65 verse 3. We Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, let us know that وَمَنْ يَتَوَكَّلَ عَلَى اللَّهِ فَهُوَ أَسْبُهُ Whoever relies upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be sufficient for him. We pray that may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be sufficient for every one of us. So let's put our trust in Allah. Inshallah, in the next episode, we shall continue on what have been the descriptions of those before us in terms of their reliance upon the last Matala and then what has been the favor accrued to them based on the trust they put in the last Matala. Before tomorrow, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be our life. I may grant us better understanding of this message and do it as it has been presented to us. By tomorrow, inshallah, that we shall be meeting again. I remain Rashid Musa. والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته يا ليما يا ليما عشان يجينا لا لابوك يا كيري ما نقبله لون المدة بيمغبي فدو بوليجيم كي بلاس كوس نه ويا رو تطي مغاني اقوسي اتي وامولو ابيكبه وو بيعو يا را يا ويكا وينو لكبه بامولو كم بني بيكا كوي ميرو وو نيرو وو اما كان كمبيوتر كاني او كمبيوتر وو فين كان واقع كو كاكو كاكا ويكا كوشوا وو نتي وو او جميلو جو هي هي او بنتي نتي ما كي بلاس كوس بنتي ووري نوسري سكول كي بلا لابدولا ميلانوسي بني برامري وو نيجو سوفو Dagbasi, Koda, Bolon Bayonda, Kibla High School, Lo
ida mo lagan o lo ohun iseri omo de kun be fofo be ni ti dara ya awon agbalagba na o gbe yin ewo bi baba so mo la won akeko atoluko won se nbe kibla preparatory at kibla high school lo fe gbe kegbe loju kan ni plot 2 to 5 ibadan south west multi purpose scheme alesin loya ibadan telephone 0805272523 at 0803313 2027 kibla schools iwaju lojugun gbe